Metals like mercury are pernicious toxins that can cause massive damage if we're exposed to them. And thankfully, there are simple strategies that you can use to remove them from your body. And what happens, mercury inhibits the uh, expression of nephrolysin, which is the main protease in the brain that's used to chew a beta amyloid. Mm. So mercury doesn't affect beta amyloid, but what it does do is it keeps the cleanup the, mechanism. It keeps the protease, the cleanup enzyme from being expressed. Mm. If you give mercury low levels, very low levels, uh, to tissues that's going to live for a while, you'll see it build up a beta amyloid protein. Yeah. And so, bottom line is, six out of six of the major biochemical abnormalities and pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease can be stimulated by adding mercury. I initially developed the idea that I had to have a hydrophobic chelator that would get into the mitochondria, into the DNA. So, mercury is hydrophobic, it goes right through, it's uncharged, it's a gas. Mm -hmm. It goes right through the biomembrane, and so you mercury. have to have a chelator that does the same thing. Mercury is a major exacerbating factor because we put dental amalgams in our mouth and the, ma the major uh, exposure, a source of mercury in our body comes from dental amalgams. Mm -hmm.